What's up guys and welcome back to a new episode about getters and setters in PHP. As I've kept mentioning throughout the last couple of episodes, the main goal is to spare ourselves lines of goes. What we've been doing when we create an instance of a class is defining the properties on the line below. And this is alright, but our access modifiers are public, and you don't want them to be public all the time. So if we create two properties, well the first one is private, called name, the second one is private as well, and that's the age. Well, this went wrong, excuse me. If we go outside of our class and we instantiate our class user, now let's set user name equal to Dari, and let's echo out user name, save it, refresh the browser, and we cannot access the private property. What we could do is to work with getters and setters. Getters and setters are methods used to define or retrieve the value of variables, and normally it's the private or protected ones. The way we create getters and setters is to go inside our class, create a new method called public, well, function get name, because the first one is the name, so we want to create a getter for our name. And all we need to do is to say return this pointer to the name. And this allows us to access the property that are private inside the class called name. Excuse me, inside the class user. So with this, we're referring to the private name and we're returning it. Let's also create a setter. So let's go outside of our function or method. Let's create a public function set name because we need to set it as well. And this will actually take the parameter that you want to set. So in our case, it's parameter name. Inside the function, we can say that this pointer name is equal to the parameter name that we passed in. So we're saying that private name is equal to the name that is passed in right here. So let's go outside of our echo and let's set the echo equal to get name. We also need to remove where we're setting our name equal to Dari, and we need to pass it inside the parentheses of our object. So let's say, well, in single quotes, Dari. And what we're basically doing when we instantiate the class user, we will pass in the setter, so my name, and we want to echo it out with the getter. This makes it a lot safer because we're not able to access the property directly. So we cannot say, echo out user pointer name or age. We also need a constructor. So let's create a public function construct because these will automatically be called. So let's set this name equal to variable name. And we also need to pass in variable name. And let's also pass in variable age. And what we need to do the same thing for the age and set it equal to h, let's save it, refresh the browser, and of course we forgot to set our h equal to 24, and we need to create a getter and setter as well, so let's copy paste it, let's set it equal to get h and set h. The parameter is h as well, let's copy paste h everywhere, save it, refresh the browser, and my name is printed out. And you can see that we're not accessing the private properties. A question that I had when I started with object-oriented programming was, well, do I need to create a getter and setter for every property that I have? Because right now, we're only working with two. But let's say that we have a list of properties. What we did with creating a constructor was creating a magic method. So we used a double underscore. We can also create a magic method for our get and one for our set. And this works pretty much the same as the construct. So let's remove all our getters and setters that we created. And let's create a magic method called public function double underscore get. So let's do one for the get first. We need to pass in one parameter, which is called property 
because we don't want to pass in the names of our property because they will change over time. And if we use property, it will choose whatever we will define in our set as well. So inside our property, we need to do a test if the property actually exists. So let's create an if statement. And inside the parentheses, we need to use a built-in function called property underscore exists parentheses. This built-in function takes two params. The first one is the class, which can be passed in by the keyword dollar sign this. So we're referring to the class that we're in right now. So class users, comma. And the second one is the property. So let's add the property called dollar sign property. If the property exists, we want to return dollar sign this pointer variable called property. What we could do is to comment out our echo because we don't need it for now. And on the line below, we could echo out variable user pointer double underscore to our getter curly braces. And inside the parentheses, we can add single quotes and we want to pass in the property that we want to print out. And we want to print out our name. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and we actually made a typo. It's double underscore, excuse me, save it, refresh the browser, and our name is printed out. So let me go back and recap what we did. We instantiated our user class, I called it user. We passed in my name and my age, which is, well, to private properties in our class. And we also have a constructor. And in our magic method, we're checking if the property that we passed in in our echo, so name, property will be replaced with name. So it's actually dollar sign name. So if dollar sign name exists in this, so our class user, which is going inside our constructor, and it actually does, because name is equal to parameter name, then this property will actually be returned. So private name will be returned. What we could do right now is to create a magic method for our set. So let's say for our get, and right outside of our method, let's create a new public function, double underscore set. And this one takes two params. And the first one is the property that we want to set. So dollar sign property comma, and the second one is the value that we want to set. What we basically need to do inside of our set there is to, it's the same thing as we did in our get. So let's copy the if statement, paste it right inside of it. But instead of returning something, we want to remove the return and we want to set this property equal to the value. Outside of our if statement, we need to return this. If we go outside of our class, we can go right above our getter and we can actually say user pointer double underscore set parentheses and inside of it, we want to pass in the property name. So let's say name and the second param is the value. So you can see what we're doing. The property is the name and it will check if the name exists. So this private property called name. And if it does exist, we want to set the value equal to John. So let's save it, refresh the browser, and the name is changed to John. This was it for the getters and setters. And in the next episode, I want to talk about static methods. If you do enjoy my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.